owner of CV Construction, and today I'm here to take you on a tour of our very first ever tiny home build, the Black Diamond model. As we all know, a home is only as good as the foundation it is built upon. So at CV Construction, we chose to have a custom manufactured tiny home trailer built to spec to support our load and floor plan of the Black Diamond model. Starting with the trailer axles, we chose to go with two 6,300 pound ver gross vertical weight rated axles that are four inch drop axles so we can gain height in the overall build and you can also maintain minimum clearances for traveling cross country and making it under those tight bridge cuts. Load E, 10 ply steel reinforced tires and two by six and two by four steel frame all the way to the front with a weight distribution hitch to hook up to 2500 or 250 truck and you'll be good cruising down the road. Touching on some other aspects of our custom manufactured tiny home trailer frame, we chose to have a full LED wiring harness kit with two blinkers in the rear and side and height lighting. We also chose to have a eighth inch bed pan while the to the bottom of our trailer frame so we could insulate in the trailer frame and save more headroom in our loft. For the structural aspect of the build of the tiny home, we chose to go with two by four wood framed walls and a two by six wood framed roof with five eighths ply on the roof and half inch ply on the walls, both glued, nailed and screwed to account for any different structural encounters that you may see on the road. For the exterior finishing of the tiny home, we chose to go with all cedar. We chose cedar lap siding. We have some herringbone patterns and then some unique door patterns. Our doors are custom built out of cedar wrapped in aluminum with padded keyless entry. We also have LED lighting on our front and rear boxes. And then we chose to do all of our trim in Shisugi Bon, which is a Japanese wood burning method to naturally preserve the wood and give it a unique look. Looking at our rear box storage coming in at seven by three feet, we have more room here for any extra gear and storage needs. We also have our dual fuel propane gasoline generator housed right here and our framed in box to house our nature head slide out toilet into the bathroom which we'll explain later on in the tour. Both of those nature head and generator bent out the side here and we also have included a 120 volt electrical exterior hookup right here. Looking at our rear lighting we have two sets of blinkers, center running lights and side lights so you can be safely traveling down the road and everyone is aware where your tiny home is. Here we have our water hatch inlet that's dual functioning. We can either manually fill to the fresh water tank or hook up a hose fed water, whether you're on city or off grid. Upon entering the Black Diamond Tiny Home model, we come in and close this beautiful custom cedar door here. We put a half inch glass diamond window in the door we also have multiple hook storage space. You can come in, dump all your stuff right here. A really cool feature we incorporate around the door is a copper gas line that we dadoed the back of our trim. Comes down and that feeds hidden right into our propane ventless fireplace. This will heat the tiny home up in no time and is really awesome just throw on after a long day of skiing and just come in and chill and sit in front of this bad boy. The Black Diamond Tiny Model is set up for all your kitchen needs with a unique off-grid fridge and freezer, 10 cubic square feet, plenty of room to store stuff while off-grid traveling for weeks. It's also dual functioning propane and 120 volt depending on where you're at. We also have a unique 20 inch off grid range and oven with a 20 inch vent hood that also includes a little storage on top. 
Looking at the ceiling in the Black Diamond Tiny Home model, this is one of our upcycled areas of the build. This is a reclaimed cedar fence from a job in downtown Buffalo that we ended up stripping down and turned out just really beautiful. We also have all of our lights on dimmers and three ways. So depending on what you're doing in the tiny home, you can set things up to set the ambiance accordingly. Over under our bay window in the living room, we have this really cool black walnut slab. This is designated for the primary eating area and also a workspace with plenty of open shelving along here. You can set your laptops, books, store all your extra office supplies and whatnot. Coming over to the futon area, we have some really nice crank out windows and this sleeper futon couch pulls out to sleep too. And we will show you that function set up here in a little bit. Our 65 gallon fresh water tank is stored under here, as well as our water pump and hot water heater. We have an RV and some temp hot water heater under here that's ran off of propane, a little slider access panel to get to that. Plenty of USB outlet and plug hookups for all your laptop, computer, phone needs. And this really just creates a nice space to come hang out in, eat, work, chill, do whatever you got to do right here in the center of the top five time tiny home. For creating a little privacy in the bathroom, we just have a nice cedar plank door here on a slider track that you can hide away behind the door. So we're going to show you how the futon pulls out. We got our three leg supports here that we just store back in the bathroom under the shelf. And we have That's how it's done. We also have a unique, now that we flipped the couch down, we have a really nice, unique sitting bookshelf area over here. So now we are up in the loft. We have about three feet of clearance coming over the front edge from the living room and about four feet back here. As you can see, it's pretty comfortable and this is definitely one of the coolest spots to hang out in the tiny. We have this huge glass window wall here on the back end to capture all the views on your travels and then some really nice two sets of sliders on each side of the loft to open up for some fresh air all of our lights here are also triple switch thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed our tour of the black diamond tiny home model and please give us a call if you're going to pursue your adventures of going tiny thank you and have a good day